Hi guys, let's continue our lesson of chapter 1, Molecules of Life, but this time focusing on carbohydrates. These are the lesson objectives that you need to complete by the end of this video. For carbohydrates, by the end of the lesson, you need to be able to state the classes of carbohydrates such as monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. You need to also be able to illustrate the formation and breakdown of maltose. And you need to be able to compare the structures and functions of starch, glycogen, and cellulose. Carbohydrates is our main source of energy. And when we talk about carbohydrates, the word saccharides comes to mind. The word saccharide comes from a Greek word called saccar. And be careful with your pronunciation of this word or otherwise it will sound strange in Bahasa. But jokes aside, the word saccar means sugar. Carbohydrates made up of monosaccharides, which refers to the monomer or the simplest form of sugar. The dimer of sugar, which is formed from the condensation of two molecules of monosaccharides, is known as disaccharides, as di refers to two. A polymer of sugar formed from the condensation of many, many molecules of monosaccharides is known as polysaccharides. Let's focus on monosaccharides first. There are four characteristics of monosaccharides. Colorless, they are sweet tasting, they can dissolve in water, and they can form crystals. There are many examples of monosaccharides. Those with five carbons are called pentose. Those with three carbons are called trios, but for our syllabus, we will focus on those that have six carbons, or called hexoses. Examples of hexoses are glucose, fructose, and galactose. All of them have six carbons, and this is the chemical formula for all of them. Although they have the same chemical formula, however, they differ in the structural formula. This is known as isomerism. There are two types of glucose. These are alpha glucose and beta glucose. You need to be able to draw alpha and beta glucose. Since we know that glucose is a hexose, or in other words, has six carbon, when you begin to place your pencil on a paper, that becomes the first carbon. Second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon, and the sixth carbon is located outside of the ring. To complete the ring, you have to connect the first carbon and the fifth carbon with an oxygen. Next, draw a column for each carbon. Don't forget the bottom column of the fifth carbon. Next, you have to place the hydroxyl group. The arrangement of the hydroxyl group is below, below, top, below, or in Bahasa, bawa, bawa, atas, bawa, or can be easily remembered as bibab. To complete the diagram, fill up the empty column with hydrogen atom. Like this. Now to draw beta glucose, it's similar concept, but the difference between alpha glucose and beta glucose is the position of hydroxyl group at carbon number one. The hydroxyl group at carbon number one is located on the top, atas. So the arrangement become top, bottom, top, bottom, or in Bahasa, atas, bawa, atas, bawa or can be easily remembered as ABAP. It is important for you to be able to draw alpha and beta glucose. So please take some time to practice on how to draw alpha and beta glucose.